Thames Valley Police Constable, or rather now ex-Thames Valley Police Constable Chantel Woodward would have been dismissed from the force this week had she not already been allowed to resign following her misconduct hearing. Woodward was found to have been more than twice the legal drink drive limit when she was stopped after a crash in May this year. Oddly, Woodward was one of the very few police constables I've ever reported on in over 1,500 reports to have simply accepted her actions amounted to gross misconduct. Normally they come out with the good old mental health excuse and simply try to fight, fight it, but fair play to this one for having some morals and accepting the wrongdoing. 37-year-old Woodward is said to have spent the afternoon on the 21st of May at a party where she drank three cans of draft beer and drunk some alcoholic punch. She then took a taxi home to Abingdon with her partner and for reasons unknown and not made clear in the misconduct hearing, Woodward decided to get behind the wheel of her fiesta and go for a spin. Whilst travelling along Peachcroft Road in Abingdon, she then crashed into a garden wall and waited by the car for police to arrive. At the scene, she provided a sample of breath, uh, which was positive, and therefore she was arrested. She pleaded guilty at Oxford Magistrates Court in June and was fined £600 and banned from driving for a year and a half. Tony Lees of Thames Valley Police's Professional Standards Department told the hearing on Monday that the incident represented a serious breach of the standards of professional behaviour and had the potential to bring the force into disrepute. Apologising for her actions, Woodward said her decision to drive whilst drunk was extremely out of character and went against what I stand for both in my professional and private life. She told the tribunal that she had resigned from the police force last month as she believed it was the right thing to do, but was a decision she had not taken lightly. She did ask the hearing chairperson if they would stop short of imposing a ban on returning to policing, highlighting her dedication and good character to the panel. Chief Constable John Campbell, who chaired the hearing, found her actions did amount to gross misconduct. However, he did not impose any sanction noting that Ms Woodward had already resigned and had also been punished in a criminal court. However, he added that had Ms Woodward still been on the force, he would have had to consider whether her actions were incompatible with her serving at Thames Valley Police. Now, as I said earlier in this report, fair play to her for owning up and taking the punishment. This is not something we see on a regular occurrence. In fact, it's highly unusual for plod facing misconduct proceedings to simply accept that they were in the wrong and accept their punishment. Who knows, maybe this was a moment of stupidity, something she realised afterwards wasn't a course of behaviour and therefore rather than doing the normal and bullshitting about it, she just accepted the consequences and hopes to rejoin at a later date. This was incredibly stupid, don't get me wrong, and anyone who drink drives is a dick, in my opinion. So I'm not ignoring the fact that as a copper she should have known better and needed punishing, and I think being sacked is okay in this situation, but I have to commend her for taking the responsibility.